although we were like, a lot of much smaller during the war, but we experienced so many things running around into other countries and becoming refugees is very difficult. We want to live at peace. We know what the past times brought to us in our country. So we are involved in preaching peace so that come 2017 we can have peace and beyond that. Liberia is at the verge of taking on their country, especially after the civil crisis where we've had the United Nations missions in Liberia, um, managing our security now that they have left and they just have a, a skeleton staff in country. Locally driven peace building initiatives are very good because it gives community people the space to interact, the space to see the need that they need a peaceful environment to coexist. The university's responsibility then um, and our role in all of this is to help convene an inclusive and representative group of actors who can then work together to move forward those political violence prevention strategies and then to lend our support from afar. Very importantly, we also collect data along the way. And this is important for us as a university because we want to contribute right, to the new knowledge um, about how to prevent political violence. So we collect those data in a very systematic way, analyze them in a very systematic way, and then draw out lessons learned right, about how violence can be prevented. <laughs> The focus point of the Pen Pen Peace Network is the motorcyclists. And the motorcyclists, 70% of them, we had a civil war in this country. They were all as combatant. You find in the C70%, you had some of them that was born in that era, grew up in a violent society. So they became orientated toward violence. We need to go place by place and talk to them because people on the way to fool our people again to we back all right. No, so we we'll talk to them how to do the correct thing. We're talking to them, look, do not let politicians to use you to cause violence. Don't allow them because of their selfish political interests that they want. And one of the groups that they interact with mostly, especially in terms of reducing violence and political violence, is the Liberian National Police. And we've increase our relationship with them drastically in that they are involved into our activities whenever we call them they are there in fact they tell us boldly that the pen pen peace network is making their job a bit easier we ourselves we call the pen pen association and including that to a long conference at the lfp quarter the other day we try to tell us this is a role you need to play you are very important when it comes to election because of both is very important we don't want for somebody to take you on half gallon of gas to tell you say get on the main road and misbehave. We don't need it. We know that uh, the peaceful election project, in as much as it, it's built the relationship between the Pepin riders, uh, the police, and the uh, the community, it, it goes beyond that. What it what it does is that it helps us to maintain the peace that we already have. So these games bring people together to have that trust, to know that yes, indeed, you are my sister, I am your brother, we can work together. With the drawdown of all milk, security is now in the hands of the Liberians. There is paramount upon each and every Liberian in making sure that we really have a genuine peace in the country. My hope is everybody take it in and then 2072 have a violent free election and we'll all celebrate together because this is the only place we have called home. <laughs>